Hello, I'm Phil Baylor with Pave Tool. Thank you for watching this week's Tip of the Week. This week I want to talk about a serious issue in our industry and that's dust collection. I myself, I'm a walking uh, example of why we need to be careful and why we need to be cautious. I have asthma, so I take an inhaler every day and it is from 1985, cutting products in place, dust flying everywhere, breathing that product into my lung um, over and over. That's an issue. So we come up with our brand new product here, the Dust XVAC. So this particular machine runs off the Cyclone system. It, it draws your dust in through this unit, throws it into a, into a spiral, which throws your bigger, heavier particles out into this cone, dropping them down. Any of that lighter material that's left over, it's gonna go over into this area. We're in here, we have uh, a HEPA filter and then another pre-filter in here that's gonna draw that air into it and then drop it down into another category. This here runs off the um, Briggs & Stratton motor, which is really cool. Once this filter gets filled up, you're just turning this and it drops the dust down into the unit. So after 40 years of installing hardscapes, I realized, and I think many of you have realized, the fastest way for cutting pavers is cutting in place. Our Dust X Vac, amazing system, coupled to a simple little boot like this, lightweight aluminum, super light. You can couple to your saw very easily. I'm gonna show you today with the Husqvarna. It has a simple boot here that you take your rubber feet off. We supply the aluminum piece with a little skid plate here so it doesn't damage the paver when it's sitting on the pavers vibrating or idling. So, and then it's just a two-pin system, as you can see here. And while I'm just showing you here, we do have this set up for Husqvarna, for Still, for DeWalt's battery-powered saw, for Milwaukee's battery-powered saw, and being paved tool who we are, we can develop any kind of transition piece here. So it's just a matter of putting this pin in, and I'm connected here at this point. My boot is completely assembled, ready for hookup. Slide now, you wanna make sure the hose is nice and flat, don't hook it up twisted. And then you're just a matter of just sliding this boot right on. And I'm ready to go. This would be our Dust XVAC cutting station. So this would be great for large slabs, large format pavers that you have to take out of, out of the uh, laying field to cut, possibly with a slight radius or something like that. This would also be great for cutting your retaining wall blocks. Anything that's uh, you're gonna cut stationary, this is a great application. Simply take your hose, bring this up behind here, just again as another clip. This is a butt joint. You're just going to line this up on the bottom, line it up on the top, it's just a matter then of just tightening this up, it connects here easily, I'm ready to use it.
We also have our Dust X Vac. This is an electric version. It runs off a heavy electric motor, obviously heavy cord, 240 volt, 30 amp circuit. Today I've got it plugged into a truck that has that uh, power capability. But it's a great alternative, say you're doing a project indoors and you're running an electric saw. If you're in a, uh, say a rooftop situation, you can't have gas fumes being maybe sucked in through the building. There's all these different unique situations that may arise that this just might be a great alternative. And you're simply just hitting the green button and it's a go. So a simple solution, very easy to move around your job site with these arms. These just simply pull right out. You turn them a quarter turn, turn them a quarter turn, and now I can wheel this product right around my job site very easily. Has the nice matic wheels for uh, all terrain. Getting it up onto your job site. Nice compact unit. At the very end here, it's drawn over 1,450 CFMs a vacuum, and at the inlet, it draws uh, about 2,400 CFMs. So this particular unit goes from eight inch down to six, but the eight inch is what we're gonna want when you couple it to the vac. And it's just a matter of getting this lined up just right. When they're brand new, with a little bit of powder coating on it, it can sometimes be a little challenging to get on. So like I said, with the powder coating on it, it makes just a little bit of a challenge getting it on, but you want a real tight fit there. We don't want any air leaking out. It's just a matter of lining this up on the two seams, and all I'm doing is just tightening it up. That's gonna keep that nice and tight. I'm set to vac. Thank you for watching this week's Tip of the Week. Make sure to go on our uh, website, you can sign up for our Tip of the Week. Also check us out on all our social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Thank you again for watching.